I'm very happy to be managing the project of mangrove ecosystem re restoration uh, solutions, MERS project. Uh, the MERS project has five main objectives. The first one is the plantation of uh, mangroves in the uh, in the areas where it has been, its grass has been declining along the western uh, coast of the Red Sea. Uh, we aim to plant 50,000 uh, mangrove trees along the project duration, which is five years. The second one, of course, is conducting research about the mangroves uh, factors uh, affecting the mangroves uh, grass or causing its declining through our Climate Smart Agri Hub. Our third uh, objective is raising awareness. Raising awareness about the mangrove's importance, about this nature capital, we are not still exploiting it in Egypt so far. Um, raising awareness on multiple levels, among researchers, among uh, local communities, among youth. Uh, of course, uh, the local communities will not be uh, keen to preserve uh, this uh, natural capital un unless they are, have economic um, benefits from it. And this is our fourth pillar, uh, raising the capacity of the uh, local community uh, and building their capacities to make use of this uh, nature capital through uh, the ecotourism project we are initiating in Wadi Gemel Protocrate in Hamata, um, uh, in Hamata uh, uh, village. Uh, this uh, ecotourism pro project involves uh, capacity building in project management as well as uh, illiteracy program as well. A local, a, a community-led illiteracy program. Our fifth, fifth pillar is having a GIS platform, um, having uh, the mangroves areas, the mangroves uh, forests uh, uh, along uh, Egypt um, uh, with its characteristics and um, tracking its variation along the, the years. The MERS project and our restoration project for mangrove trees in the shoreline of the uh, Red Sea in Egypt. We are having uh, two phases of uh, uh, germination of the seedlings and the seeds. We have the first one was uh, planting the seeds to germinate for uh, one year, almost one year, in the poly bags under the nursery with the, and net. And after one year, we re-transplant it with the local communities. Uh, in the shoreline uh, over two sites in Safaga and Hamoto with the two species of Avacinia and Rhizophora. Mostly, mostly we are planting the Avacinia uh, trees species and uh, this, this is our plantations for uh, previous two years. This is uh, most, yani, about uh, 13k uh, seedlings of both Avacinia and Rhizophora. The MERS project stands as a nature-based solution addressing the pressing issues, the pressing challenges of climate change. Through its collaborations and engagement with the local communities, we are looking forward to rehabilitating and restoring the mangrove forests along the Red Sea coastline. In areas such as Safaga, Hamata, Marsa Alam, we are working closely with the local communities on growing uh, different mangrove species, most especially uh, Avicennia marina and Rhizophora species, which are the most dominant species on the Red Sea coastline in Egypt. Uh, mangrove trees are a very important part of the ecosystem in that they are breeding, uh, they are breeding places for the marine fish. They also help to protect the coastline from storms and strong waves and as well the mangrove trees have a very very important aspect related to climate change because they do act as carbon sinks uh, for the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. What you're seeing here are the seeds that we have prepared with the local communities here in Hamata. We have planted almost 10,000 seeds and in the next few coming months we will be able to come and transplant these seeds on the Red Sea coastline. <music>